Ami Wise is an Ottawa father. His daughters attend a Hebrew school that was defaced this week, and we've reached him in Ottawa. Ami Wise, how did you hear that your daughter's school had been defaced? I heard about it just my just uh, like many other people through my social media feed. Action. What what was your reaction? Well, I, I first was uh, a little bit uh, shocked and alarmed, um, mo more because it felt like a violation. That's a place where we go frequently. We have a community, um, and so it was. It was an uh, uncomfortable feeling, to say the least. Um, uncomfortable how and why? Well, oh, pardon me. Um, well, it's, again, it, it felt like a violation. It's a place where we, we go and we have community. Um, now, you, you're aware that these kinds of, uh, uh, these kinds of people maybe exist, these kinds of sentiments exist. Uh, granted, um, they're uh, on the margins, but... Um, when they when they attack uh, specifically your places where you go, it just it, it it definitely you definitely feel it. Yeah, and and you feel it in particular because of your heritage, your your grandparents. Yeah, I think that's fair, Carol. I mean, I, I I'm the grandson of four Holocaust survivors, and so perhaps um, I, I have a quite an acute understanding of what what where this sort of sentiment can go if unchecked and what, what kind of dark paths it can lead to. How old are your children? Uh, five and three. Okay. Do you think that there is a rise in these kinds of incidents in Canada now, in, in Ottawa? It'd be hard for me to say, um, to, to draw such generalities. I, uh, clearly, there was this rash of incidents that affected uh, multiple places of worship. Um, and we do, as you mentioned in your intro, they do now have someone in custody, uh, one individual. Um, so it, it's hard to make a broad generalization, um, but clearly there, this was one individual who did go on quite a spree here. Yeah. How prevalent do you think anti-Semitism is? How does it manifest in your life? Well, you know, thankfully, uh, you know, I live in a very tolerant city. I live in Ottawa. Um, I live that is the capital of a, a very uh, accepting and uh, uh, country like Canada, where uh, the issues um, of tolerance and the issues, uh, maybe I'll scrap tolerance, I'll just say inclusiveness and respect. Um, are really the sentiments that rule the day. So um, it's we're really lucky to live in a community like this where it's those kinds of sentiments um, really marginalize um, the sentiments of hate. What did you tell your children about what happened? You know, interestingly, um, my post suggested that we were contemplating having to tell them, and that was uncomfortable in and of itself. Um, but really, uh, the uh, the... Any evidence of the uh, the swastikas was off very quickly, and so I think we're saved from having to tell them. I mean, as a parent, um, you want to protect your kids as much as possible, and you want as much control as you can from protecting them from the ills of the world that eventually they'll have to deal with. But I think be, uh, because it's not staring at them, in, staring at them in the face, I think we're able to protect them just a little bit longer, and that that does make both me and my wife uh, feel feel better. Yeah, and that. one day you, you think you'll have to explain to them what a swastika represents. Absolutely. Um, for one, just as a security measure, just so they're aware of, you know, that kind of hate out there. But really, as I mentioned prior, previously, and you mentioned as well, it's, kind, it's part of my family history. Um, and it is something that uh, is formative in my outlook and makes me realize um, what, uh, where, where humanity can go. But ultimately to realize that we're in a community where we stand up for each other.